Good morning from the Freedom New Mexico newsroom. I'm Diana Hernandez with the rundown of stories we're working on. A Roosevelt County jury has convicted 23-year-old Anthony Casillas of two counts of first-degree murder in the September 25, 2008 shooting deaths of two people on Clovis's west side. Casillas is charged with the murders of 52-year-old Gary Payne of Melrose and 36-year-old Melissa Ward of Lubbock. The jury deliberated for almost three hours before handing down their judgment in Portales District Court on Monday. Sentencing will be set within 60 to 90 days, District Attorney Matt Chandler said. Casillas faces 65 years in prison for the murder charges, tampering with evidence, and felon in possession of a firearm. Chandler said Casillas may face other charges later. Voters will be asked to decide in November if Curry County will raise taxes to get a new courthouse. During a special meeting Monday morning, commissioners voted 4-1 to one to let voters decide the question of funding a new courthouse. Commissioner Caleb Chandler voted against the resolution. Passed unanimously was a second resolution, which instructs the county clerk to place the questions on the ballot. Voters in November will be asked to issue property tax increases and a 0.25% gross receipts tax increase for use on capital improvement projects. Each will result in a projected $16.5 million to be used for courthouse and jail upgrades. And Senator Jeff Bingaman is scheduled to meet with Tucum Carey leaders Wednesday. The meeting will take place at 9 a.m. at City Hall. The City Commission will be in attendance, but they are not expected to take action. For information on these and other stories, stay on these browsers. For Freedom New Mexico, I'm Diana Hernandez.